What's up guys welcome back to another video and today we have a great news for oneplus 5 and 5t users now oneplus officially started rolling out android pie for their users but as of now that is only based on hydrogen os open beta but checking out the previous records as soon as we get the hydrogen os open beta within a day or two we also receive the update for oxygen os open beta so might be today or tomorrow we may receive an oxygen os open beta based on android pie few days back we also had a closed beta file for oneplus 5 and 5t that was also based on hydrogen os but this is again an open beta it is not a closed beta so it'll have very less bugs available if you are already running hydrogen os then you should receive an ota update through system updater but that is only for beta program but if you are running oxygen os then you need to download the file and place it inside the internal storage so here is the file for oneplus 5 which i have downloaded so download this file place it inside internal storage and make sure to take a backup before doing anything then go to system update tap the gear icon towards the right hand side choose local upgrade and select the file So entire process of installation and booting up will hardly take 5 to 6 minutes once it's done now let me show you the software information by going to settings about phone and here you can see this is the device that is OnePlus 5 Android version is Android 9 Hydrogen OS version is open beta 21 and other than that you have your device info over here under Android version you can see Android version is 9 and the security patch over here is 1st november 2018 and the build date is 29th november after installation you'll have lots of chinese bloatware is available inside hydrogen os but those can be easily uninstalled by long pressing them or by going to settings and app section So first of all talking about the complete UI changes over here later we'll take a look at the change logs so this is your quick setting panels as you can see here towards the left hand side you get the time towards the right hand side you get the battery percentage and if you have any alarm set that info will also be displayed on the quick setting panel then a completely redesigned shelf we have the new volume slider over here by which you can directly control the media sounds and alert slider also gets the new ui so first of all let's take a look at the change logs what they have updated and here the change logs are related to system communication do not disturb mode and oneplus weather application first one under system which says updated to android p version that is android pi android 9.0 a brand new ui design more details etc so i've already shown you the brand new ui design over here this is your app drawer a new recent panel and this is the setting menu after that a new background control solution for lighter and smoother experience and then the security patch has been updated to 1st november 2018 which i've already shown you Then under communication it says SMS verification code spreads the display check verification code one step faster then optimize strange number recognition added the ability to set default card for single contact optimize strange number recognition so this feature can be found inside the call settings here you have a option of strange recognition make sure these two things are enabled Then later they have added the ability to set default card for a single contact, optimize the speed dial and call interface UI design. So this is a new call UI where you can see the photo set for the specific contact. After that emergency rescue UI has been optimized. Then moving on to the next change log which is related to do not disturb mode which says more powerful do not disturb mode do not disturb mode behavior and time are defined by you. So do not disturb mode can be found inside the settings. sounds and here you have the do not disturb mode where you can enable this then you have the option to change the behavior of notification and you can also keep the exceptions from here and also if you want to schedule the do not disturb mode that can be done from here after that last change log which is related to oneplus weather application which says position is accurate to the area improve the accuracy of weather desktop widget automatically switches cities based on targeting solve the problem of refresh failure after positioning change 
and last one support fuzzy search when adding cities to solve the problem that some users cannot search the cities so guys these are the complete change logs what they have updated on their official forum and now moving on to the camera application so here everything seems to be working fine including front and back portrait video recording have no issues google lens has been added here and the camera application has been updated to the latest one that is 3.0.8 on the previous leaked file it was 3.0 under wi-fi and network everything seems to be working fine including hotspot we also have oneplus roaming feature under bluetooth and devices there are no issues with the bluetooth connectivity as i have already used and tested my oneplus wireless bullets then under display we get things like adaptive brightness night mode which is working fine screen calibration consists of rgb dci p3 adaptive mode and custom color then under themes we have three themes available one is color light and dark and all the three themes are working fine we also have ambient display which only consists of lift up display and new notification wake up talking about buttons and gestures so here we don't have swipe up gestures available under quick gestures we have flip to mute three finger screenshot double tap to wake alert slider can be customized from here and if you want you can also enable the on screen navigation bar there is no feature of swipe up on home button other than that we also have quick activate the assistant app so if you have any assistant application available on your device then you can just enable this feature from here and when you long press the power key for 0.5 seconds this will open up the assistant application and if you continuously press it you will get the power menu then under battery we have battery saver mode and also adaptive battery which will extend the battery and this feature will learn the way you use your device under security and lock screen fingerprint is working fine i have already unrolled my finger so let me show you and as you can see the device gets unlocked instantly when you touch the fingerprint scanner other than that you also have face unlock options available then under utilities we have gaming mode quick pay options parallel app app locker pocket mode one plus switch but here we have one missing feature which is already available on one plus six and sixty which is called as smart boost so that feature helps you use the entire ram while using the device or while playing heavy games so guys that was a quick look on the latest hydrogen os open beta of 21 which is based on android pi now let's take a look at the benchmark results using geekbench application and antutu bench application with geekbench application device have scored 1913 in single core and 6562 in multi core with antutu benchmark application device have scored 190836 so about the battery life i'll update you guys by today evening you guys can check the pinned comment in the comment section below so guys that's it in today's video hope you like this video and if you like this video then do give me a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day